Today on The Spiel. Everything you do, you're telling a story with it through beautiful pictures and imagery. But we wanted to bring you in to talk about some of those, those great trips, those destinations that you would encourage people to look into. And perhaps it starts with Route 66. I think it does. Yeah. I think it does. And history, you know, is fascinating. Sure is. And to be able to learn by driving through USA Main Street, mm -hmm. you know, was just a phenomenal thing. What I'm using today is tomatoes out of my garden and uh, fresh basil out of my garden. And, and you, you want to use the pasta quickly where when it's just off the boiling water. Mm -hmm. And then uh, oh. what I like to do is, you know, finish it off with... You like to chef it up. A little Parmesan cheese. Mm. Mm. And welcome to Backstage Pass with Bobby McClendon. I'm still reliving everything about last night when you came in. Blew my mind like a seminal wind. Shook me down, messed up my head. Stole my heart again and again. Now girl, you gotta let me know. Were you falling over? This is The Spiel. I'm here today and all I hear is how I'm chasing crazy dreams They'll see Cause I've got perfect songs and melodies Just waiting to come out of me And you'll sing along Like oh, whoa Fancy words, clever lines and tales That take you back in time And you'll sing along Like oh, They should have believed in me. Should have believed, baby. And welcome to the show today. We have a rip roaring show. Rip Incredible roaring. music. And I talked to the chef all ago, Chef yeah. Losser, and yep. He was bringing in some incredible ingredients, so I can't wait to eat. You know what? I think it's all about fresh. I'm a little jealous, because you do it upright, too. Don't you grow maters? Yeah. You call them maters? Yeah, but I got to tell you this real quick. Uh -oh. Speaking of, OK? I have not got the zero turn mower down yet. Have you done that? Dude, that is way above my pay scale. Okay, well, uh, I, I'm Is like, it hard? I only took out two tomatoes this year. <laughs> Tomato plants, that's it. <laughs> just, just two. As you're turning, you're like, oh, I cut did. it too close. I went inside and I said, that we have two less tomato the plants. The zero turn. But anyway, yes, it's it. doing really good. Wow. Peppers and, and onions and potatoes and pumpkins and. It's fun. Yeah. Grow your own stuff. Hey, I saw something that you posted online. You had um, Garth Brooks' daughter stop yeah. by your food truck. That's right, and she loved huh? my lemon shakeups. Oh, she loved them. Hi, Allie. And she's going Allie. to watch. Hi, oh, you're Allie. on a first name basis. Yeah, That's yeah, how that we rolls, are. huh? Yeah. I said, Allie, uh, can I stop by your dad and Trisha's house for dinner oh, sometime? Let's she do said, it. sure. Bring the shakeups. She did. She did. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and book that. That okay. would be a must. That would be a must. <laughs> okay, so we've decided that we're going to talk about um, something you experienced this weekend. Yeah, you know, um, anniversaries are important. Mm -hmm. Reunions are important. Reunions are important. Listen to me. I don't know how it happened, but I live, okay, Illinois, Alabama. You do the geolog. What is that geographical math? Okay, right there. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a distance. Friend of mine in Tallahassee, Florida, not so much, but still a distance, yeah. planned the 30-year class reunion. We're so great, we're so fine, we're the class of 89, okay? Okay, the girl here and the girl here with Alabama here, what are these right, people right, doing right. in Alabama? They didn't come to the reunion. No shows. Why is that? We had historically the largest class in Op Alabama history. We graduated, it was either 167, 169, Wow. Uh-huh. We had 70 show up, and that was with a plus one, you know. So I think shame. out of our graduating class, maybe 50. Shame, 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 shame. That's terrible. You. And you know what? I'm calling We're you getting out. ready to have a, a family reunion, a huge one. <sighs> so and important. Because, and they're not coming. A lot's not coming. But they'll say, I guess I'll see you at the next funeral. Isn't that terrible? Oh. That's terrible. That's bad. But here's why it's important. You know, when you've experienced things with people and you, you've spent a lifetime, that was a very important part was, of our, I mean, was. that's a, that's a. It's what shaped you, oh it, my it molded goodness. you. Oh my goodness, yeah. Today. And then those that, sh here's what's great about it. We put on a party. I mean, we had so much fun and there were so many laughs and just did a great job. And it was a, you know, it was just a great time. 
And now all the people who didn't come are saying, I really hate I missed that. The pictures are great. I wish I could have been there, you know? Because when you get to the funeral part of it, oh, yeah. it's too late. You don't miss the opportunity. Yeah. So. You're crying your makeup off. Yeah. It's not a pretty yeah. thing. Did you see anyone that you went, Oh my okay, gosh. okay, I gotta tell you, I, this is the first year we did the, um, and, and anybody planning class reunion, please do this for your piece. The senior pick? Oh my goodness, go to your yearbook and print that picture, because honey, had I not been able to peep down and look up, <laughs> I'm like, woo, I have no idea who you are. Did they all but, know who you were? You know, I got um, the first, let's see, 20 years ago, I got the most changed. Can you believe it? I, I don't know what I've that is. I've seen your picture. In yeah, I, I didn't change I mean, at all. This time I got, um, uh, Tyrone Short says to me, he goes, did you try to make your hair look like it did in eighty in the eighties? So I guess you know we're kind of coming full circle. The bigger yeah, hair and the, yeah. the curls. So, but a good time, you know. Love your people. Love where you come from. Make a point. Be out there. You know, this show we're going to talk about travel. It's mm -hmm. so important. There's a whole world out there. That's right. Oh, and there's some app going around on Facebook. I don't know when this is going to air, but it's about like old. how many? No, how, no, we're not even talking about that one. How many places have you been? How many places have you spent the night? Make sure that you're able to check off more than one. Like yeah. I've never left, you know. Yeah. What, it's so important. Can we go back to the old app real quick? No, no. I Let went me tell and you told what. somebody. The Russians is something, is something bad. It, that is true, but you know what? I didn't know that and I did it. But this is funny though, what you're about to say. I, I, you know what I did? Uh -huh. I went and told someone, wow, your picture here on your profile, you don't look that bad being old. And they hadn't done it yet. They hadn't done the face. I'm, I'm sorry if you're not watching good. and she said this I'm to you. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But anyway, buckle up. Buckle up because we're in for a great show, an incredible musician from Nashville. That's it. And food. Here we go. Coming up on the Spiel. To be able to learn by driving through USA Main Street, mm -hmm. you know, was just a phenomenal thing. And you see things that have been repaired to mimic the past and yes. then you see the actual past just yes. the remains of next to nothing <laughs> uh. coming up later in the show so about last night when you came in blew my mind like a seminal wind shook me down messed up my head stole my heart again my name is Carrie Southern. I'm a mortgage loan officer with the Bank of Heron. You know, it's just not enough to meet customers' expectations anymore. We really have to exceed them. Everybody's got busy lives. They've got jobs, kids. Not everybody can make it to the bank during business hours. So accommodating them and getting them into that dream home, that's my ultimate goal. Let us help you unlock your dream home. Find us at bankofheron.com or come and see us at any of our locations. Probably the most important thing in medicine is to have a home, a place where you can come and be seen and get treatment for minor or serious conditions. My name is Dr. Harry Carter. I see patients in very different situations and circumstances and at all times trying to make a difference in their lives. One should not feel like they can't come in with a problem and allow us to help them fix it. Come in, I think that'd be the best way and the easiest way. We'd love to have patients join us and we'd love to help serve them. Visit us at crhpc.org. My name is Peter Ha and I am uh, an incoming freshman uh, about to attend Yale University in the fall of 2019. So initially I applied to the Garvin Family Foundation in order to attend a particle physics course at uh, Stanford's pre-collegiate program. And so there it was like a two to three week long program where I would you know, study particle physics and I would attend lectures at the collegiate level. But but on top of that, Garwin was like really generous in offering me another opportunity to kind of expand my non-academic interests. I really like doing martial arts, specifically Taekwondo, which is a Korean martial art involving a lot of kicking. Because I wanted to pursue it at a higher level, um, I actually had an opportunity to go train at Yongin University in South Korea, and Garwin was really generous enough in um, reimbursing my flights and making sure that I had enough resources in order to attend. So that was. It, it just reaffirmed the fact that the GFF was not only like really generous in like fostering my academic interests, but also on top of that, like my other extracurricular passions. And so I'm so thankful for that, yeah. Seriously, for the people who want to pursue Garwin, just apply to as many places that interests you in the slightest and do whatever like really fosters your passion, I'd say.
You know her, you love her, you've seen her on this show before, Erin Henley. She's an internationally known makeup, just fabuloso. You know, she's wearing many hats these days. Many, many, <laughs> many hats. Many hats. Yes. But the one, she's like, oh, I love this. This is so great. <laughs> I do. Um, you know, I even asked you uh, when you sat down, Erin, I said, you're kind of deemed an influencer now, and you're like, I would like, I would like to be known as such. That would be nice. <laughs> and, and in what arena would you like that? Because you're so diverse these days and doing so many things. It, it is. Um, and I do play that dual role between makeup artist Erin and travel Erin. Mm -hmm. um, and I do feel like I do have an influence. I mean, people reach out to me curious about my travels and then also the makeup too and I I think it's because I generally do those things because I love them yes and travel lately too travel has come on later in life than makeup has I've been a makeup artist for well since 2010 so mm -hmm. eight and a half years almost yeah. nine and travel has kind of spurred about in the past two to three years right. so it's a little bit more new and I'm still discovering it and you know when something's new mm -hmm. you just want to share it oh, and it's just and you do such original a job and of sharing it she have you is. done this yet where you booked like a special occasion off somewhere and then while you're there you can explore I have a couple times especially with you know my friends are getting married we're, we're of that age where they do that and I'll come on and you know do the bridal makeup and then explore book a couple extra days um, I have done that and I have enjoyed that but I really like to separate the two when yeah. it comes to yeah. work and play right and so now what I do is almost flip-flop what I used to really <laughs> gravitate towards which was you know the cool factor of being hired to travel sure. and do that but never really being able to see the city. That's what people don't realize. It's like, I'm going to California or this place or that place, but usually you're in one building, you don't yes. get to see it, and that's what people don't realize. Right. You right. know, When you're working, you're working. When you're playing and you do it, you do it so well. I think um, one reason that uh, you, you've caught my attention is because everything you do, you're telling a story with it through beautiful pictures and imagery and a great sidekick, um, Aaron. Yes. Um, so so we've we've thoroughly enjoyed watching mm -hmm. that, but we wanted to bring you in to talk about some of those those great trips, those destinations that you would encourage people to look into, and perhaps it starts with Route 66. I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, um, it's well. I mean, I'm an American, <laughs> and I do love history. You know, there's a lot of subjects that I'm not interested in, not good in, and history, you know, is fascinating. Sure is. And to be able to learn by driving through. USA Main Street, you know, mm -hmm. was just a phenomenal thing. And you see things that have been repaired to mimic the past. And yes. then you see the actual past, just yes. the remains of next to nothing. Uh, <laughs> you know, I know you plan ahead. You're a planner. Yes. So I know you, there's things on 66 you want to see. But have you just run across something and went, wow, I didn't know that was here? We did not necessarily drive right by it, but you know, a quick Pinterest search or an Instagram search to see things that are just off those paths too are mm -hmm. super interesting. And there is a blue hole in New Mexico, in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. And it was like the cherry on top, free admission. No one was there. This beautiful blue hole, you just dive right in. I mean, it was like, See it was all this the hidden way down. gym. Yeah, the people go diving hole. there. Yeah, there. the spiel on location. Yeah, the blue, the blue hole. hole. You have to. <laughs> it, yeah, and it was just off that path, and that was like the third time we were driving the Route 66 before we figured out that was there. Wow, so that's you cool. do see something new every time. You know, we we. We encourage people to get out there and try new things, and travel is one of those that can sometimes take you out of your comfort zone, especially if you consider doing it alone, which yes. you have. Yes. Um, and I have, yeah. and a lot of people have. And it it's a whole other way of seeing something, isn't it? I mean, your focus is there. It's great to have a sidekick, but let's talk about your trip to Iceland. Yes. Iceland was... 2017, so it was a couple years ago now, or maybe it was only one year ago. I was blonde. I kind of go <laughs> by my chapters, by my hair colors. Yes. So that was about a year ago, so it was a little earlier than I thought, but that was a solo trip. And international solo trips are a little bit, you know, scarier than domestic. Sure. There's the language barrier, the currency, the time change, um, the vehicles, things like that. But it was actually, I recommend it if someone's, you know, looking to travel internationally alone and need a good city, that's a great one. Yeah. Why'd you choose that? 
for this? There's been a lot of people talking about it. It's definitely one of the more popular destinations now with you know travel bloggers and influencers, but it's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, that time of year I went was late April, I believe, and it stayed light till like midnight. Yeah. So you have wow. so much daylight to just go explore and do things. And you capture, know? you were so smart. You took a remote controlled camera. Because yeah. people were asking, who are you with? Or how are you getting those pictures? And you're like, oh, I'll tell you later. Yeah. And then you introduce the, there's a remote way of taking your picture, obviously. Yeah, it's just a little Bluetooth remote. It's That's very crazy. discreet. That's so cool. Um, and you do learn the little things that are easy to shoot with that and hard. So anytime I was in water, I had to like keep one hand out of the water <laughs> and like hold it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Different, I so love that. Love that. <laughs> so you do have those quirks too. We hit makeup, we hit travel. Let's yes. talk minimizing. Oh yes, you, I want to know about. She this. started doing her list. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's a list. It's a satisfaction list, or what brings you joy. And we've noticed on yeah. there that you're minimizing. You're getting rid of things, and you're lightening the load a little bit. Talk about it. Yeah, so there is a lovely uh, duo, and they are called The Minimalists online. There's actually a documentary on Netflix. It's not us. It's no. Not yeah. Us. No. Oh, well, watch the documentary. It's okay. just called Minimalism on Netflix. Okay. And it is. I mean, I think the tagline's like finding the meaningful things in life or no something doubt. similar. And no you do kind of, by decluttering, getting rid of things you don't want, it does really not help you just get rid of them, but realize what you do want, mm -hmm. yeah. material-wise, and you know, metaphorically, and yes. and all that stuff. And you're doing so that. I, I definitely was in the height of it um, a couple months ago. I don't have nearly as much stuff as I did, so there is less to just get rid of. But I definitely think very intentionally before I purchase something that's you know what I would call a material. So right. a new pair of shoes. Like what is a serving? You okay. Know, think about well, your I lifestyle. really wear them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a person that I love the way heels look, but the amount of times I actually put them on is, you know, for every once in a while. Yeah. So, a pair of Doc Martens is probably more practical for me. <laughs> <laughs> I wear them every day almost. Well, we want people to follow you. Yes. We want you them to um, see your story, and you do such a great job of sharing it. Tell us the best ways to to find you online. You can find my personal account on Instagram, which is at Erin Stop, E-R-I-N-S-T-O-P. And I'm on Facebook, too. You can just search my name on there as well. Such an interesting yes. lady. I mean, leave us with one commitment statement. What is it every day that you try to do, Erin? What's fulfilling for you? I try to follow my curiosities and have fun. That's, that's and great. that's it. There it is. Little period right there. That's right. great. Well, thank you so much for coming on. We thank appreciate you for having you. me. Yeah, I appreciate you. We'll definitely see you around. We'll see you, you will. back. Okay. I'm going with you. Remember, yeah. <laughs> we're doing this. Yeah, we'll be right back. Coming up on the spiel. I'm going to be honest, I'd really like to do a song with Avril Lavigne. I think that would be oh. freaking awesome. That's She's one of my favorites. No I, doubt. Yeah. Coming up later in the show. And I'm going to prove to the audience it's so easy, even a spiel host can do it. Oh! No? Okay, you may want to cut that out. Too harsh? Too <laughs> harsh? That's way hard. <laughs> okay. My name's Jessica Elkins and my major is nursing. I'm an LPN to RN Bridge a student, so I'm going to Three Rivers College to get my RN. I chose Three Rivers because it's local to my hometown and because the class size is small and because it allowed me the flexibility to be a mom and to be able to be a nurse at the same time. I like going to Three Rivers because it's local and it's everything is right here. I can ask my instructors if I need to see them and be um, in their office within 15-20 minutes. Three Rivers College, success starts here. Register now at Three Rivers College. There is something sweet that happens every August in Shawnee Forest Country. When a summer of sunshine has blanketed endless acres of fruit trees and row after row is ripe for the picking. When you can pick nature's candy and savor the sweetness of a perfectly ripe peach right off the tree, that's how you'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country. To learn more, visit southernmostillinois.com. 
What an implant is, it's the replacement for the root of a tooth. We all know that dentures aren't teeth, they're certainly not the same, but we have new methods and techniques here to give people basically a third set of teeth. Over the course of the past 20 years, I became trained in implant dentistry, culminating in a specialization for people that have lost their teeth and are frustrated with wearing dentures, restoring a, a sense of dignity. I have my smile back. Of course, sales is where it starts, but that's just the beginning. Uh, what a person really needs after the sale is the ability to take care of that machine. It's an investment. In the event you do need repairs, you need trained technicians that know what, what's going on with the product, and we do have that. We know farm equipment, and we know outdoor power equipment. We sell a full line of Kubota. We're one of the only full line dealers in this area. To find out more about the Spiel or even watch past episodes, visit SpielOn.com. We're going to take you back scene. What's up, everybody? It's Justin. Music. My first day. Hi, I'm Bobby McClendon. This is so about last night. One, two, three, four. So about last night, did you feel what I feel when we kissed goodnight? To be honest, I haven't slept good or got you out of my mind. I need to hear from you that you know what I'm talking about. So about last night when you came in, blew my mind like a seminal wind, shook me down, messed up my head, stole my heart again and again. Now girl, you gotta let me Now, baby, where I'm at I'm still reliving everything about last night When you came in Blew my mind like a seminal wind Shook me down, messed up my head Stole my heart again and again Now, girl, you gotta let me know Were you falling or putting on a show? Another little friend to you And there's just something about you And I'm still so about last night When you came in Blew my mind like a seminal wind Shook me down, messed up my head Stole my heart again and again Now girl, you gotta let me know Were you falling or putting on a show?
talking about Rolling Meadows, and it's an unusual property because I'm going to call it a, a sort of an eight minute wonder. It's about eight minutes from Giant City State Park. It's about eight minutes from all the local lakes. It's about eight minutes from SIU. It's about five minutes from the mall. It offers probably one of the best combinations of residential and, and rural living. You've got about 900 square feet, heat pumps uh, with built-in office, two bedrooms big enough for, for king of queen beds. And so that makes an unusual property. Woodruff Management is the exclusive rental agent for Rolling Meadows. Just check our website, woodruffmanagement.com. You'll find us there. Click and you're in. The world can't keep up with uh, wild production. The oceans would have, uh, you know, no fish. So they've resorted to aquaculture. Well, the problems they're running into with aquaculture is the feed. They're running out of the normal diet that those fish would normally eat. So all of these fish are contained in these pens. We do a lot of preparation in Alaska yeah. when we're catching and processing these fish. You know, we have the FDA come in every year to our plant and inspect us and ensure that what you're getting is exactly what I'm telling you you're getting. But if it was a farm raised animal, then it might have a resistant bacteria that was living in it or processed next to it. And this is not the one that has resistant bacteria because we know you got it from natural source. And now it's official. Wild Alaska salmon and seafood is now doctor approved. Go to our website, wildalaskasalmonandseafood.com. I'm John Fuller. I work for the University of Missouri Extension Office. I'm their human development specialist. I went back to school back in 2002 here at Three Rivers to originally just to get my associate's degree. I had spent 10 years in the military. Starting out, that's how I was able to go back to school was through my service through the military. Not only was I going to school, I was also a work study through the VA work study program. And then I went on and was able to get the military to pay for my bachelor's and my master's degree. I think one of the things I really enjoyed about going to school here was it had a personal feel to it. You could build a relationship not only with your fellow students, but with the teachers. And if you were struggling with something, it, they were very accessible to be able to get the information that you needed. It's always an advantage to be able to go to school locally. Three Rivers College, success starts here. And welcome to Backstage Pass with Bobby McClendon. And you guys introduce yourself. Who, who are you? We don't. I'm Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> Dean. 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 Wow, Jeremy Dean. If you Ooh. collaborated there, that'd be a lot. Ooh, that'd be on, fun, yeah. right? Get on that. All right. Hey, I know what your next song title is going to be. What's that? I saw the Spiel co host sitting on the toilet. I, I Thanks for that. Thanks for that. What he was walked, that? He walked in. He walked in on me. Uh, it was awkward. Did. The, the door weird. wasn't shut. The door was know. not shut. Door I'm not sorry. Shut. I've become very comfortable in the studio. <laughs> I'm sorry I have done Did that you to you, Bobby. Did you have your camera out? Did you I, I, I didn't, but all I saw was a green screen, so I thought you guys were doing CGI in there. <laughs> I didn't really know what was happening. That <laughs> it is was so a polite John. He goes, oh, oh, excuse me. I'm like, hey, no worries. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But yeah, that song title would be good. It be would a winner. be good. That would be a winner. Um, you're, you guys are doing some great stuff. Yeah, um, you're on you. the road. You, there's a high demand for you. You're, you're playing with you know names that for some reason people are discovered before others, but that's that's how you get there. You know, you, right. you, you play with people and you hang out with people. You know, can take you to that next level. And tell us who you're who you're out there with and what you've done to date. Oh man, we've done a lot of stuff. Uh, most recently, it was really great for me. We did a festival in Wisconsin where. Uh, we got to open up for Blackhawk, and I'm a huge Blackhawk fan. Me yeah. too. They were my first concert that I ever saw back in Arizona, oh where I'm from. God. So Very we got cool. like just to sit there and listen mm. to them was amazing. Um, but yeah, we we get to do a lot of really cool things. Uh, it was cool for Dean. We got to open up for Kip Moore. He's Here a huge Kip Moore guy. There you go. Same show. I got to do Brantley Gilbert. So <sighs> okay, what chicks have you guys opened up for? Chicks. Uh, All these guy names. They weren't with me, um, but I did a show with Lauren Elena. Okay. Oh, uh, she's in cool. In Florida. Yeah. So yeah. Very cool. 
Well, um, you know, you guys are awesome. You've got the sound, and you know, you're in line now. You're on stage, and it's just a matter of time. Um, you've been in Nashville now. How long? I've been there seven years. Okay, seven from years. where? From Arizona. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's a grind. I mean, you got to get up and do what you do every single day. Absolutely. You know, do you feel like you got that momentum? You're going where you need to go. Uh, you know, we get to do a lot of good things. I got a good team around me. Um, Dean and Jeremy have been with me for years. Dean's been with me almost since the beginning. Except nice. a couple of years of hiatus that he took off to go with other people. Uh -huh. Jeremy's been, Dean. I mean, it's been almost five years. We, the three of us have been together. So uh, my manager's great. I just have a great team that believes in what we're doing and we have a great time doing it. So That's what, That's what it, it takes. takes. That's, That's absolutely exactly what it, takes. what it takes. Who do you want to collaborate with if you get to do any of that? I'm going to be honest. I'd really like to do a song with Avril Lavigne. I think that would oh. be freaking awesome. That's I mean, She's one of my favorites. No I, doubt. Yeah. And she took the hiatus and she's back. And and she's, it'd be amazing. Avril, if you're watching, hey, holla She does boy. holla. <laughs> no doubt. So how do you want your audience to respond to you? Everything you read, it's like, you know, if you start a show with you guys and you're seated, you will not be at the end. I mean, Pretty much. I mean, up and throwing down. So how do you want them to feel about your show? Um. You know, I just want them to leave there wanting more and being happy. And next time we're back, make sure they're going to come out. I mean, we have a lot of people that drive all over from places. From We'll play in Chicago. And the people will come up from Kentucky or, Great. you know, we have we played my first show in Louisiana, a festival down there, and people drove from Michigan and everything else to come see us. So that's really cool for us. That says a lot. Was it hard for you to sit in a chair today to perform? Do you usually up moving? He was shaking it. <clears throat> um... Normally we're up moving around, shaking, but it's... Dean moves around too. Oh yeah, wow. oh Dean, Dean's a wild man. Is he? Listen, yes. you see crazy. all this stuff he's got in his it's, hair. Well, I noticed the snakeskin boots. Yeah, it's there, just right? eleven o'clock in the morning. We're <laughs> still <laughs> supposed to be asleep. That's <laughs> you are right. You just gave it away. Well, you guys are great. Yeah. How do they find you online? Obviously. I'll oh yeah, BobbyMcClendon.com, uh, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, okay. Facebook. Apple Avril Music can anywhere. call us and we'll negotiate the deal for you. How Boom. about that? Does I'm, that work? I'm, I'm with it. Hey, All wait, right. you got a song dropping shortly, too. I do. Okay. Yeah. So About Last Night is going to be my new single. Love really that one. Nice. Thank you. Love. Do you want to put him on the spot with a couple of your crazy questions? Sure. Let's I do it. I do. All right. Okay. Boxers or briefs? <laughs> uh, boxer briefs. There it is. There it is. You ready? Yeah. 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 Okay. You don't believe me? No, we're good. <laughs> we're good. I just, we're good. I mean, we, we hide the kids. Yes. <laughs> Creamy or crunchy? Uh, what? Anything. Creamy, anything, crunchy, what? anything. I mean, I like creamy peanut butter. That's what there we're talking about. Okay. 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 Ding, 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 ding. Whew. Okay. How about the mountains or the it's ocean? The ocean. The ocean. I'm yeah. from the desert, so we like water. <laughs> yeah. And not a mirage, right? No. Can I give him a song title? Yeah. Sure. No, no, no song title. No. Why? No. Yeah. It's, we can have all the fun. You know what? Watch. I love got. song titles. Okay. Here we go. And I have good ones. Okay. So okay. You to and it. I want you to write this and record it. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. It's all right. Never so deep. Okay. It's a love. <laughs> no, it's not. It's weird. No, it's a love. It's odd. Yes. <laughs> you didn't go anywhere else, did yes, you? Yes, he did. Dean did, definitely. He's did, there already. No, come on. Yeah, come on, All think right, about that's it. Enough of it's that. a kid show. Uh, yeah, I get it. Okay. okay. He gets it. Next but he's time not you're interested. on, you'll perform it? He's not interested. Sure. Sure. All right, listen, this is the show, The Spiel. Yes. Okay? Did you know we were going to ask you to spiel something about yourself you've never told anyone else? Now your manager's nervous. Look at that. Look she at goes, her. Whoa. Oh. No one knows. Nobody. <laughs> Uh-oh, here it is. This is a good uh, one. You guys been thinking about yours, too. Uh-huh, one thing. Something that nobody, nobody knows. Nobody knows you've never, ever told anyone else. I don't know. I pretty much tell everybody everything. Um, Dean, what you got? Dean. What, have you, what have you never, ever told anyone that you would like to share right now in the spiel? Um, I'm going to play the fifth. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, Dean was born a lady. Oh! <laughs> Dean was born a lady. I love that. Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> that is great. That is great. All right, your fans are going to be disappointed because they tuned in. Come on, my, my fans know everything about me. I don't. I really <laughs> hide give them anything. something. They're they're hungry. Get they're them. hungry. I Do really you... love Klaus and dill pickles. <gasps> But they yes. have to be Clausen. There See, it that's is. That's good. All right, and we are open that's to good. a sponsorship for the yes. band for the spiel. If you're watching, Clausen. Pickles, <laughs> yes. right? Thanks, All right, guys. good job. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. My name is Ronnie Waldron. I'm the mortgage loan officer, the card of a location for the Bank of Heron. 
Outside of the 27 years worth of experience, what sets me apart is my communication ability, letting the borrowers know upfront what they can expect, so expectations are set early on in the process and they're maintained throughout, letting you know where you're at each stage of the process and what you can expect going forward. It's satisfying to see somebody go to a closing table ready to move into their dream home. It's more than just a closing. You probably didn't know this, but in Shawnee Forest Country, a kayak can become a time machine. Each paddle stroke down the Cache River can take you farther into the past. Explore the northernmost bayou in the U.S., discover thousand-year-old cypress trees and the rich biological diversity. Find a unique adventure along more than 15,000 acres of protected waterways. And when you've paddled deep enough for time to stand still, that's how you'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country. I knocked on your door, you knocked me out Girl, you know what looking hot is all about Yeah, and here you go, brought us a couple of beers But I feel a little drunk just standing right here Told them we'd be there by nine I don't think we're gonna be on time So what if we're a little late to the party? Wouldn't be that cool to show up early That sexy little dress would slip back on Just as easy as it went on I kinda like it when your hair's a little messed up Wanna make you have to re-put on your makeup Our friends are just gonna have to wait up Started. So what if we're a little late to the party? Well, tell them we got lost or you lost your shoe. We'll be lying in bed and we'll be telling the truth. Watching shadows dance on the bedroom wall. Maybe we can make it there before last call. But looking at you right now. You ain't helping, you're just slowing us down So what if we're a little late to the party? Wouldn't be that cool to show up early That sexy little dress would slip back on Just as easy as it went on I kinda like it when your hair's a little messed up Wanna make you have to re-put on your makeup Our friends are just gonna have to wait up Started, so what if we're a little late to the party? Girl, we told them we'd be there by nine. But what if there's a one more time? So what if we're a little late to the party? Wouldn't be that cool to show up early. Coming up on the Spiel. How'd she do, Chef? She Greater. did very good. Even a Spiel host? Even huh? a Spiel host. Huh? <laughs> a little sugar. Ooh. Oh. Grand Meunier. Meunier. In there. Huh. And then. It's not just for floating on your margaritas anymore. We are monitoring all of your preventative health. I'm Marlissa Boyles. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Clay Medical Center, which is one of our 11 clinics out of the Christopher Rural Health Planning Corporation. We have implemented PCMH, Patient Care Medical Home. We work in collaboration with many specialists. 
This helps in tracking what you need for your age and any preventative screening. We'd love to have you here in our family. Visit us at crhpc.org. Ever wish you had a little cash in your wallet to instantly pay someone you owe money? But who carries cash around these days? Now, person-to-person -person payments have never been easier. Introducing SPIN, Social Payments Instant Network, available to customers online or through the Legion's Bank app. SPIN makes it safe and simple to pay your part of the dinner bill, pay the babysitter, or the lawn guy. Pay anyone, anywhere, anytime. Just click Move Money to transfer funds to the account of the person you owe. All you need is their debit card number, email, or phone number. It's sort of like PayPal, except with the peace of mind and protection of Legion's Bank. Make fast, free, person-to-person -person payments instantly, safely, with SPIN. Available through Legion's Bank. How do you find affordable housing within the price category that you're looking for? Hi, I'm Jeff Woodruff. I'm Managing Broker at Woodruff Management. We manage both single bedroom and multi-bedroom facilities. We rent high-end townhomes. We'll rent entry-level houses to working class folks and to students just getting started, finding the price point. What's the best we can do for the budget that you have? We've done property management now for over 40 years. We're known by the friends we make and keep in quality housing. There's a way for people to get to know us better. Facebook and Facebook Business, WoodruffManagement.com, list our listings. Kitchen, bathroom, and flooring, it's all here at Home Improvement Warehouse. We have 40,000 square feet of kitchen, bath, and flooring products. We stock cabinets. We have some special order. They get here within two weeks. All our cabinets are all wood, fully assembled, very high quality, and we're much, much cheaper than anywhere else around. We are feeling it in our HIW kitchen that is the Home Improvement Warehouse in Carbondale, Illinois in Paducah, Kentucky. To know them is to love them. They have quality everything just like our house chef, Lasser Sorensen. That's it. Yes. That's it. I, Welcome. I have something really fun and light today for light. us. We need light. Fun and, and light. And I'm going to prove to the audience it's so easy even a spiel host can do it. No? Okay, you may too want to cut that out. Too I'm harsh? Not, that is, that's way hard. <laughs> okay. Even if, you know, like, <laughs> and even practicing that line, because all of a sudden we need a house chef. Anybody know one? <laughs> Those look fresh. They do look fresh. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, so what, what I'm using today is tomatoes out of my garden and uh, fresh basil out of my garden. Nice. So this is a good way, you know, all the tomatoes, you know, they're not perfect, right. all of them. So these are all the imperfect tomatoes. They're kind of a little soft that you didn't get off the vine fast enough. So those are all the ones that we're gonna use for this dish because it'll, it'll go together uh, a lot faster if they are soft. Okay. Anyway, at the same time over here, I'm gonna make a dessert. I call it peaches and cream. So I need a little help today. I know okay. I normally don't ask for that, but so what I want you to do is take these peaches here and just kind of cut them in little pieces and put it up in here. Okay, I can. Julie, are you good with a knife? I can do it. Okay. All right, we're good. I can do All right, it. So, good. so over here, what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna take this basil, and again, you know, I tell everybody. You, you know, don't like, really get rid of the stems, ever. No, I was gonna say, you know, this is how you're this, supposed okay. to do it. Okay. But uh, these stems, on, on especially Ooh. on basil, uh, that so I. So good. So we're gonna cut this basil here real quick, put it over here. Nice. So we've talked about this, you know, in the in the summer, in the spring months, it's warm, you have your fresh vegetables, you just run outside and, and then you have a gourmet dish in no time, right? Yes, yes, exactly. And this is fresh and it's healthy. And I'll give you the address to Chef's Garden in case you need to go and get your supplies <laughs> and such. If you don't have any, just right outside your back door. So what we're gonna do is just cut these in pieces. It doesn't really matter what they look like again because we're gonna, they're gonna kind of dissolve. When they're and, ripe like that, they just, they, yeah. okay. They and, and I'm not even worried about anything on these tomatoes, so we're just gonna cut them in pieces. How many varieties do you grow, Chef? 
You know, I try to grow a lot of different varieties for the restaurant. So uh, when I, I have a caprese salad on the menu mm. and uh, it, it looks so cool when it's different tomatoes, yeah. different colors. And I uh, so I, I try to have a little bit of everything. And in this particular dish, we were talking about it, you can put different kinds of cheeses. It doesn't yeah. necessarily have to be the goat cheese, which you've selected today. Yeah, I make this a lot with brie cheese, mm -hmm. but a lot of people are, are uh, not familiar with brie cheese and, and are a little hesitant. So this is easier for most people, goat, goat cheese, but I'm also mixing Parmesan cheese in there, but you can put fresh mozzarella, mozzarella in there. Yeah. The, it, it's just the, the way we're doing it. So I'm taking a little olive oil, mm -hmm. and then, you know, we're always cooking with we the wine. We always cook with wine. A little bit of wine in there, just a little bit for acidity. Okay. And then uh, I have some uh, garlic. Garlic, a lot of garlic. And what makes carotid. it goat cheese? What's that? What makes it, why goat cheese? Why do they goat? call it goat cheese per Julie? Well, because it comes from, from the goat? goat milk. Goat milk, goat there milk. it is, boo. Now okay. you know. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little <laughs> onion in there too. Oh, love scallions. Can you really get enough of those? Never. It, it's not as strong. So if you use the regular onion, you can use that too, but then it would have to sit longer. And I, I wanna make this a quick dish. When I make uh, when I make this di dish with brie cheese, I actually marinate everything and let it sit o uh, the whole day. Hmm. But Why is that? Well, because the brie cheese takes a little longer for it to dissolve. Okay. Where the uh, goat, cheese. goat cheese is a lot faster. Yeah, it'll crumble. So. It crumbles like blue, doesn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. right in there. That looks that's good. beautiful. Out that's right there is my lunch. That's that's what I would do. We don't even need the pasta. This sauce here would work. Uh, you could just heat it up and put it over a piece of grilled chicken too. No doubt. So there's a lot of uses Yummy. for this sauce. So you can see now it's just sitting it there, good. getting mm. ready, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So how are we doing over here with the peaches? Hey, I'm good. How'd she do, Chef? She Greater. did very good. Even a spiel host? Even huh? a spiel host. Huh? <laughs> a little sugar. Ooh. Ooh. Grand Meunier. Meunier. In there. Huh. And then it's not just for floating on your margaritas anymore. So no. we're, we're just gonna let oh. that sit a little bit. You know, bit. those are happy peaches pizzas. They're very happy. They're about to be real Peaches happy. pieces. Yeah. Peaches And, peaches, and peaches. I don't know, a, 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 almost a year ago, mm -hmm. that was when this whole thing That is our thing celebration. Started. Grab your glasses, yep. no doubt. I'm glad he brought that up. Yep. I came One on. year, and That's look how much year. younger we all look. Chef. <laughs> Yeah, One I year can. since he came on the lot, the very first time in the new studio. What did you cook yes. that day? Uh, if you remember, I did some marinated strawberries. You did. You so did. this is kind of similar very to that. Very similar. Uh, but Taking a spot. You, you can you, you can actually use the same method here with any kind of fruit from your backyard or peaches, Wonderful. berries, whatever. So. And hey, happy taken, anniversary. It's, it's taken one year oh, and happy he's now demanded his own show. So yeah, was, look for that very soon. It was yesterday. Just was yesterday? it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. It was a one year anniversary of what'd you that's get wonderful. us what'd you yeah he got us peaches, peaches and, and pasta cream. <laughs> okay and that's pasta. it baby yeah. all right and an insult at the beginning you know <laughs> that the spiel host <laughs> could even do it so all right let's get to it okay realistically how long would you like someone to to allow that to marinate mm. uh you know like you have a glass of wine, maybe have some hors d'oeuvres and stuff okay. so you know and half an ready? hour 45 minutes I had no idea we'd be warming it up yep so what I did is I cooked the pasta. It's ready to go. So the pasta itself is also hot now. Okay. Just came off of the boiling water and it's ready to go. Okay. So that'll go in here too. Ooh. And that will heat everything up a lot quickly because mm -hmm. with all these fresh ingredients, we don't really want to cook it a lot. No. Actually, you uh, grilled shrimp with this or sauteed shrimp, chicken. Mm. You can have a steak on the side and this would be your- Good side. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, like, yeah, just a side for it too, so. Yeah. And, and you, you want to use the pasta quickly where when it's just off the boiling water, you put it in here because that'll make it come together a lot mm -hmm, faster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, oh. what I like to do is, you know, finish it off with... You like to chef it up. A little Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. A little? And then, you know, I like a little pepper here on the outside that goes well with that dish too. Can you imagine those places you go to and they're like, tell me when? And you're like, you don't... <laughs> you well, like I like a lot of cheese. I like a lot of cheese. Okay, so over here, 
we marinate the peaches mm -hmm. in a little sugar and I want to say a little bit of Grand Marnier but because of you two I put a little extra Grand Marnier in here. Makes sense. And uh, heavy cream. Heavy cream. From Prairie, Prairie Farms. Farms. The very best. Yeah. And uh, so uh, we don't need to mix it too much so using a using one of these here it, go, it goes real quick. Rob's going to put up some nice elevator music over the... <laughs> to bring this to some soft form. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Oh my goodness, that did that in no time. Yeah, and I mean, and that's the great that's thing about fabulous. using these things here, it just goes so fast. That's just like your usual food processor. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just hey, a little one. That's awesome. So we're gonna put it in here. Oh. That's the cream in the peaches and cream. Oh. Now, you don't uh, sweeten your cream at all? You don't put any sugar in? Or? Well, I mean, remember, we put sugar and alcohol in, in here, that, so that's all the, the sweet. That's all you need, okay. So what I like to do is, you know, I'm a big fan of this almond paste. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to put it in there. It's probably hard to get for some people. but uh, And I use a, uh, today I chose this uh, hazelnut chocolate, which mm. is one of my favorites. You know what? There, there's a reason that I stalk him, that I'm a huge fan. And that right there is it. Wow. So again, you know, any kind of fruit you have, you can use exactly the same technique, right? Mm -hmm. And this is a great summer dessert, really. Mm. I don't think those that visit my house are really expecting dessert, but if I whip that out, they'd be like, Angie, where's Julie? Where's Did Julie? she get that done for us? And then what we're going to do is we're going to garnish mm. a little whipped cream on top. Oh, mm. if you drizzle with Grand Marnier. <laughs> Look at that. That's beautiful. And then I'll let's uh, come in with some more peaches oh. right here because you know that the chef's signature is the 3D in mm -hmm. appearance. Something's got to be, you know, look at this coming out of it or. Yeah. So eat with your eyes first. There it oh is. Oh my goodness! Stunning. My family would flip if I did this. They'd say, "What'd you do with Julie?" Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's. Beautiful. Oh, it looks like a bird of paradise. Okay. One year later, and he knows how to present it to the camera and everything. Wow. Such a spoiled chef. That is great. And, so good. And you see, uh, we didn't spend very much time on no, this. No, we did not. So no, this is really not. something you can accomplish really quick. And it's very reasonable, affordable. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think what we should do, since it's our year celebration, you know, um, and, and you could be leaving us soon for your own show. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, listen, we'll invite everybody up and we'll try it together. How about okay. that? All okay. All right. So we'll be right back. It's hard to teach a fisherman anything. Have you ever seen one of these? I've never seen one in my life before. Okay. What is it? I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make this beautiful fish of yours into a salmon carpaccio. A wild sockeye carpaccio. See here how we make some peel like that? All right. So if you take these two here and okay. do the same thing and just create a little bit of that for me. So I have a little bit of garlic butter here and uh, these slices that we cut, very thin pieces. And we're gonna create like a round pattern so it fits up on a round plate when we're done. We're gonna put some salt and pepper on it. Like that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this lime, a little bit of orange, a little bit of lemon. A quick way of doing this is we're gonna give this a bunch, All right. of, bunch of citrus. With uh, different varieties, yes. I like it. So it's like a quick citrus cure, but we're still gonna put it in the oven. This is just gonna sit, and you know how that acid Absolutely. gets into the fish and gives it and flavor? It cures the fish. We won't cook this fish very much. This is gonna be super quick. Two, two minutes. Introducing the all-new Legions Bank app. We really try to be on the cutting edge. With all the conveniences you already love, like 24-7 access, account transactions, online bill pay, but now with even more powerful tools like mobile deposit for true banking on the go. Spin, making person-to-person -person payments easy. 
and smart tools like Go Focus to help you visualize your financial profile and plan for the future. Our app is very popular. It's the next best thing to banking with us in person. Download the Legion's Bank app from the App Store or Google Play. You owe it to yourself to come in here. When you lose your teeth, you lose not just the ability to chew and eat and smile, which is a big thing, but you lose a part of yourself. It was life-changing when I came into Dr. Hughes. It showed me videos and models, and these are the choices we had. These were the options. I had tried dentures, and they were not successful. For people that are frustrated with wearing dentures, we have new methods and techniques to give people basically a third set of teeth. When you have an extraction or an implant put in, your first thought is, that's going to hurt. I was completely comfortable through this. Dr. Hughes and his staff, they are wonderful. Training it matters, experience matters. The thing which is extremely important is compassion. It brings back your ability to chew. Come in and see Dr. Hughes, the greatest thing I ever did for myself. You're restoring that sense of dignity. That's a life-changing event for many, many people. And it's something that we do here on a daily basis at Hughes Dental Arts Center. You're watching The Spiel. I don't know what happened. I know there was been some kind of closing on the show. So, you know, they all left me with the dishes. And uh, so I guess I'm just going to close out the show today. And I know there's a word thing I have to do. So I always say food is love. So the word this week is love. See you next week on The Spiel. Rolling in three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, in three, awesome. two, one. Oh, <laughs> hey, will you, will you pin over this thing? We're going to have our bloopers outtakes. <laughs> Marcus, what are you doing? <laughs> Had too many beans left yesterday. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whenever you're ready, Bob. And here we are on Your On, my favorite little segment we do on the spiel. Today we've got Bobby McClendon yes. and his cute little feller. He's here. on Backstage Pass. We told her that <laughs> yeah. three times and she said you're on. Oh, did I? I was gonna, yeah. Stop, do it again. Yeah, stop. We got another outtake, there it is. We don't know if you're on or backstage. This is, this is you're on. I said you're it's, on. It's no, backstage. No, no, no. Oh. <clears throat> and he said backstage with Bobby. Oh gosh. Whatever you're ready. Right, right now, we need one of those little fart noises. Could you get back on the chair? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Big old mess, leftovers from Alaska. I just had to throw stuff together today. Today, not normally what we shoot with, but. <laughs> Cause I just gotta let you know, it's better than ever. Hi, I'm Erin Henley, and I am a professional makeup artist, but also a full-time traveler, and you are watching The Spiel. Boom, that was really good. Oh, good. Right. I'm Bobby McClendon, and you're watching The Spiel. Good morning, United States. We have Alec here, and today he's going to be talking to us about storming Area 51. I mean, they really think they're going to Naruto run through all those bullets that are about to be shed. Uh, they don't even let people ride bicycles around Area 51. I like the creati creativity, you know? I like the initiative, but how about we take that initiative and go do something positive, you know what I'm saying? That's the word.